One of the most common symptoms of long COVID is aches and pains in many joints and parts of the body, including muscles and even headache. In my long COVID service, of which I'm the clinical lead for in Berkshire in the United Kingdom, we have done our audits and they have suggested that pain is an exceedingly common complaint in many long COVID patients. In fact, more than 70% have these aches and pains. A lot of them have headaches and migraines. And once you kind of put together the number of chest pains or stomach up a pain or IBS like symptoms and headaches, as well as these aches and pains, pain actually becomes as common as or even more common than fatigue. So what's the connection? What's the correlation between them? If you think about it, as I've explained in other videos, we think that long COVID is a hyperactivation of the immune system that doesn't settle back to normal. And at the same time, when the immune system is that hyperactive, it can make the nervous system hypersensitive. And it is this hypersensitivity of the nervous system that can then cause sensory problems so you can have pain as a kind of altered sensation pins and needles aching throbbing burning tingling pressure like sensations in different parts of the body or you can have the disturbance of the autonomic nervous system where if your heart rate is much more rapid or if you have shortness of breath and then when you have short breathing cycles along with a rapid heart rate your muscles around your chest or your throat are going to tighten up and that can cause the chest pain and the throat pain and the neck pain that can happen in many of these patients so you can see how all of these are interconnected and often having long covid and these disturbances of the immune and the nervous system can spill over into chronic pain the second thing we're finding is that blood tests actually don't show any signs of inflammation. So it means that actually when pain occurs in these patients, it's not due to outright inflammatory chemicals in the bloodstream. But nevertheless, there is a lot of immune activation and what I would call low grade neuroinflammation happening within the nerve circuits in the brain. This neuroinflammation is not picked up on an MRI scan, is not picked up on a blood vessel in blood testing as well. And that causes a hypersensitivity within the nervous system in the brain and in various circuits within the brain. And that causes a kind of central sensitization, what is called in medical circles as nociplastic pain. And that is one of the most common presentations of chronic pain in long COVID and is the reason why long COVID patients can often be left with chronic pain as part of their symptoms in long COVID. Hi, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to hear and see more, then please click the subscribe button and hit the notifications button so that you'll know when the next video is released.